um, the, the, a few more points is um, central to what we do is grassroots initiatives, uh, mobilizing community members to participate and contribute, institutional partnership. Uh, we've partnered in the last three years with 47 partners. I know that feels like a lot, but something it allows us to do is to spread, um, you know, half of what we're doing is sort of evangelizing about the importance of the Wikimedia movement and about, you know, importance of free knowledge and participation in it. So part participating with um, synergistic partners helps us with that. And it also helps us to uh, innovate as well. Uh, we also have educational efforts workshops, training sessions to build skills and knowledge. Um, something uh, you, a uh, few of you may have um, witnessed this year is uh, our efforts in AI. We joined with um, uh, our 12 Harlem in uh, New York City on Governor's Island and um, brought in some experts in our <laughs> representation in AI, um, including with the Wikimedia uh, Foundation to talk about um, AI, uh, um, uh, AI uh, for creatives and kind of demystifying that, especially in terms of how it works with Wikipedia and Wikimedia and so forth. So that's just one example. Uh, we have presented uh, with organizations at the UN. We've uh, worked with uh, Wikimedia groups and spoken directly on gender diversity, youth technology and diversity in different formats. Um, and that's uh, with the UN as we recently did with um, the Summit for the Future uh, in support of uh, Wikimedia's uh, side event there, as well as the Global Digital Compact. We've worked with partners like Microsoft, Access Now. We uh, created the Wiki Global Check-In in, um, in connection with partners um, during uh, ben the pandemic and are very proud to say we stayed active throughout the pandemic. Uh, we've worked, for example, on preserving indigenous languages and those of African diaspora in partnership with the National Science Foundation. Um, and just for a few statistics, um, since 2019, uh, we've uh, recruited over 3,551 in, in event participation, uh, more than half of them being new editors, close to 500 participants from academia. Uh, and that number is actually a little bit higher, not including this year. Uh, over the past three years, AfriCrowd worked with over 47 partners, like I mentioned, in GLAM academia and with Wikimedia community across uh, the previous year's total, with 15 from last year alone. Uh, in the same period, AfriCrowd uh, program participants also made hundreds of uploads to Wikimedia projects like Wiki Commons, over 800, with 4,157 edits last year uh, to Wikipedia, and we're expanding our push to Wikidata, and over 27,139 uh, social media impressions last year, with more expected this year. Um, off Wiki, Africrat is steadily growing and following, um, with more than 7,670 uh, 7, followers between our mailing list and growing social media followers. Um, and actually that number is a little bit higher. But something I wanna stop here and mention is, um, uh, part of the reason I wanted to do this talk is because I know that there are folks um, who are, are organizing in the movement. And as a, an organizer, like I mentioned, I organized before this, there's something called burnout. And um, and as you could tell at the beginning, I was like, you know, I put this on my shoulders because that's something that I do, but it's not. <laughs> um, you are, uh, as an organizer, you're um, contributing what you have uh, for the mission that you're after. Um, you know, over, uh, after the pandemic, um, like I said, we stayed active during the pandemic, but after the pandemic, you know, I was pretty drained out and I didn't realize it because I just kept on going. Um, something that is very important, I feel, if for anybody who um, wants to be an organizer or wants to do one project in their spare time even, is to um, be fair to yourself and what you want to achieve. Um, our followers went down after the pandemic. Even though we worked really hard to um, keep it going strong, it wasn't as active as it had been before. And for a little while there, I took it personally, but something I want to mention is eventually we found another uh, other ways to grow and expand and um, got our mojo back. 
So I want to mention for anybody who's sitting here who's thinking of organizing or, or just wants to do something and they have an effort that they want to put forward is that just getting started is really a huge part of, um, of the deal. And, and also to create for yourselves, um, create for yourselves um, items that you feel you can do with what bandwidth and so forth that you have. I'm not sure what just happened here. Okay. Fantastic. So um, here's just a quick view of some of the images from over the years. Um, some of the projects we've done with different organizations and some of the groups, some of you will see yourself in these pictures. Um, here are some of the uh, ways that we reach out. And um, uh, for example, at Ponds, we still do a lot of lectures um, and uh, uh, we go to different events, for example. Um, and here is in the current day, an example of a week or two in, in AfroCrowd. So this is, this is our current uh, list of items that we wanna do. Uh, we were just at the UN summit, like I mentioned, um, uh, the community group, some of the members that you just saw um, are here. Uh, we're here at Wikiconference North America. Right now we're simultaneously in Johannesburg. Uh, we have our um, Mermoz Adodo, who is our um, African liaison. He's, he's there right now. Um, doing a lot of cool stuff, and you, you'll hear a lot more from him on our social media. Uh, if you go to Af at AfroCrowd IT on X, or you can go to at AfroCrowd on Facebook or Instagram to hear more from him. And then, of course, um, on October 17th in New York and Brooklyn, we're going to be meeting with the QT BIPOC community. They are um, uh, uh, performing artists in the LGBTQIA community in hip hop. And um, uh, we connected with this group um, during the 50th anniversary of hip hop, where we, um, we held a, a, an event on Governor's Island again with our partner there, and um, also had a photo booth to, to help cover some of the undercovered um, folks in hip hop. And it was such a success that the organizer wanted to try and do it again with us. So we're gonna be there if you wanna join us on that day. And finally, I want to uh, put on a little uh, video that we have. Let me just get through these other images here. We are five minutes behind, so we have to solve that. And, um, I just wanted to just quickly do this one final thing and then we'll be on our way. <laughs> um, but if you have any questions, I will be here in the back. And um, here, here we go. So um, here is an example of uh, what um, what's we are doing uh, as well on, if you'd like a tutorial, something that we created in-house to help um, not only expand um, our linguistic representation, but also to be a value for those wanting to learn more on their own time. Um, okay, that's fine. So we can put it on the, on the group screen? Yes, we can put it in the group chat. Okay, well then, here is my final video. This is some of our commitment to covering Africa and the diaspora over the years.
We actually had an ambassador come and speak to our group too, um, which was a fantastic moment for us. She was the first Black woman ambassador of um, Madagascar as well. Thank you.